Welcome to Austin, Texas, capital city to the great state of Texas, home of the food truck and live music capital of the world. I spent eight days in this beautiful city, seeing and experiencing it all so I can bring you the most comprehensive travel guide to date. I'm Michael, an adventure vlogger from Vancouver, Canada, that is always looking for excitement and the most interesting people. But to do that here, I needed some help. So I called in my old friend, Will Edmund. There he is, the man himself. What a man. Oh. Reunited again. Yes, we back. New we adventures, back. new city, Austin, same people. Texas. I'm from Texas. Yeah. Welcome to Texas. So, so he's our pro tour guide. Welcome to my state. Y'all come on. It's good to be back. <laughs> Welcome to Austin, Texas. I'm Mike. The channel is Downey Live. Let's get started with my favorite things for you to do here in Austin. The first thing you need to know, it's really hot here in Austin. So the first thing that I want is a swimming hole. But why go to any swimming hole when you can have Jacob's Well? Look how deep that is. Just a sudden drop off. This place is a protected natural area by Hayes County. And it's on my one of my top spots to come check out, come swim, enjoy, relax on the rocks. Something to note, it is only open for swimming from May 1st until September 30th. To get to Jacob's Well, you do need a car, but it's only about a 45 minute drive. And then when you park in the parking lot, it's only about a quarter mile walk along this sort of rocky trail, but it's very easily accessible and highly recommended. So come check this out on your own, Jacob's Well. Now there's another similar one about 15 minutes down the road, just on the other side of the town of Wim Wimberley? Sorry, Wimberley. It's called the Blue Hole. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, this, this spot's pretty. Look at this. This is remarkable. It has rope swings off the trees, a whole lot of green space behind me, sort of a field. So families could picnic and hang out. I think this would be this, is, this would be my recommendation of where I'd want to come. Again, this place is only really open in the summer months, May through September type thing. So unfortunately I have my bathing suit on, but can't swim at the moment. One of the other things you have to do here in Austin is the Barton Springs pool where it is free from November to February and the water is 65 degrees Fahrenheit year round. How you feel, friend? I feel great. That was very refreshing. Isn't it amazing that you can swim here in Barton Springs and the skyline view is right in the back? Right there. I love it. Austin, you're doing well. $10 to $15 to do this in another city. If this was in Atlanta, it would probably cost $20. But in Austin, they're like, hey, let's do it for free. And they keep it clean year-round. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> So this is, this is fresh water. This isn't chlorine at all. This is the running spring water. We put a dam at that end to stop it, make it sort of a natural pool. And then it just trickles out the other side once it's overflowing. So I don't know how long it is, but this is December and I'm really comfortable. Yeah, this is up there. You got to try it. Okay, we've got two peacocks here. To explain kind of where we are, I'm gonna introduce my friend Will here. His YouTube channel is Will Edmund. I've linked it down below. He's a travel go. vlogger as well, and he's showing me around Austin because he knows it. He has a few videos already on the top things to do in Austin. Yep, our first stop is here at Mayfield Park. It's a peacock sanctuary located here in Austin, and it's free. You can come out here um, in the morning times, in the afternoon, and hang out with the peacocks. And they're beautiful as well. Uh, keep your eyes up. There's some in the trees as well, which blows my mind because I've never seen a peacock fly. So I don't, maybe they're tree climbing peacocks. How do they get up there? They actually fly up there. And whenever they open their wings, they're massive. Did you see that? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Excuse me, you're in a restricted area. It, it's under repair. You have to keep off. Can you? You have to get off the grass. Yeah, you can stay. That's fine. Austin is known for its cute and quaint coffee shops like here at Mozart's Coffee Roasters with its delicious and beautiful pastries and really good coffee while overlooking the peaceful lake Austin makes it one of the best places in town to just sit and sip your morning coffee. 
morning. Good morning. Mike decided to take me out for tea and crumpets. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> right by the lake. Right by the lake, bro. Now let's talk food. Austin is sort of said to have started the whole food truck craze. So you definitely have to check out the food trucks when you come to Austin. Now I'm gonna let you explore the Austin food scene on your own because no matter what you're looking for, restaurant, food truck, outdoor patio, whatever it might be, you really can't go wrong. Will has brought us to his favorite sunset viewpoint, but we are, it's setting right now. Yeah, setting. This you is the go. oasis. Okay, Will, you were right. This is worth it. I didn't know there was a huge lake up here. It's not close to Austin. It took us about 45 minutes to get here. I'm more like an hour with traffic. Beautiful, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't think we were going to make it. We were rushing to get here. We were hitting traffic. Nothing was going our way, but we got here just in the nick of time, and I am impressed by this building, this restaurant, this patio. Everyone is out here taking photos of this sunset over the lake. What a way to finish. One of my favorite things about traveling is I get to see these random, weird, bizarre places that we don't have in Vancouver. But in fact, I actually prefer to travel to see friends. Like Will here, who's wandering around creepily in the background. <laughs> he called me out, he was the one who said, Mike, come to Austin. And I actually had two other friends recently move to Austin, and I've been waiting for the chance. I came to see friends, I got to stay with friends. So I wanna know, do you travel more for work or for pleasure? And if so, do you go? <laughs> I had a burp. Oh, I thought you were laughing because I said for pleasure. No. <laughs> or do you, do you like to travel to go see places or see people? Anyway, leave, let me know in the comments. The video's not over. We're headed to San Antonio now. Ready? Let's go. Yeah, we gotta go. It's a two hour drive. But on your way to San Antonio, make sure to stop at the world famous Bucky's. This massive gas station is known for having a ridiculous amount of gas pumps and for the cleanest bathrooms, which you could tell by looking at the number of garbage cans lining the front doors. However, once you go inside, you will see that this place is so much more than just a gas station. They make their own pulled pork. They make their own jerky their own fudge. They roast their own nuts. They make their own clothing and merchandise, Christmas stuff, home goods, etc., etc., etc. So while it might not be the most appealing tourist attraction in the world, if you're going to stop for gas and a bathroom break anyways, why not visit Bucky's? All right, now to San Antonio. Boy, you going to San Antonio. <laughs> San Antonio. <laughs> My uncle would be like, well, I've been to San Antonio. I was in San Antonio in 1964. <laughs> a lot of people say it's a little overdone, a little touristy. I personally think this is beautiful. So I watched a few videos of people walking around the River Rock here. The River Rock. The River Walk. Where are you going? I was going to film with Will in the background. <laughs> I'm filming you, Mike. I'm filming you. Oh, on my I'm cell filming phone. me, filming you. Instagram oh now. my goodness. Okay, now you got to fill. Follow Will Edmund on Instagram. You got to follow Downey Live on Instagram. I didn't even plan this. That was good prep. Anyway. Saw a lot of people did this. It, to me, it looked a little too, too touristy and thought it would be, you know, a cash grab from all these restaurants along the waterfront. But this is really quite beautiful. Came down, I was instantly impressed. And I think if you're in the area, you definitely have to come check it out. It's, it's, a, it's a San Antonio mandatory. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. But we're making do. We're having fun anyways. Because that's what we do. That's why he's Will. That's why I'm Mike. Follow along. Give this video a like. That almost rhymed. It didn't quite work it out. So for dinner, we decided to leave the river walk. Figured it was a little too touristy, probably more expensive than what we'd like to spend. So we've come to the historic market square here. Figure we can get some really good food. In fact, Judy, if you're watching, I sat next to you on the Amtrak train two videos ago. You highly recommended this place. So uh, I'm taking you up on it. So this is all on you, Judy. And uh, I'm bringing Will too.
I think this place is definitely a vibe. I really like whenever I walk in. Uh, I mean, it's like lit. It's a litty situation. Well, I am not a food vlogger. I don't review restaurants, but I do love experiences. And for me, that's exactly what this restaurant was. Every single bit of this. That's true, it was an experience. It was just fun. <laughs> the food was good. And Judy, I give you a thumbs up on this recommendation. And for Thank all you, of Judy. you, yeah, for all of you watching, I recommend Mi Tierra. This is good. traveling with Will. He is a star everywhere he goes. Finds a crowd, meets people. That's why you need to follow at Will Edmund. I will link his channel down below. He is fun everywhere he goes. But before I let you go, I have one more little surprise I want to show Will and you. It's a small town. So we're headed back to Austin now and we're gonna, I'm gonna pull off the highway and I'm going to show you Green, Texas, a tiny town that's Yay, worth seeing. Let's go! This is the kind of small town that doesn't get a whole lot of traffic unless, unless there's a big concert in town. So I've been waiting to show Will the whole time, so I want to bring you inside and I'm going to show you what a Sunday night looks like at Texas's oldest dance hall, right in here, the Green Hall. Look at that right there. From the Texas Historical Commission, this, this building was built in 1878 as a saloon and social hall. Still standing, still kicking. Okay, so I wanna know, what was your favorite part of today? Was it Austin? Was it San Antonio? Was it Green? Was it Will? Make sure to go check out his <laughs> channel. Will Edmund, I've linked it down below. Also, I've got these hats. They're for sale by Worth Hats. This is the Downey Live Edition. Hey. All proceeds go towards a counseling fund for people with, or struggling with mental health so that people who can't afford counseling can get it. That's I awesome take no color. proceeds from the house, uh, from the hat. Yeah. Look at you. Look, hey, Look at you for make sure to subscribe <laughs> here if you're new. Thank you for coming. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. That's true. Until then. <laughs> See ya. Peace.